My name is John Judd. I'm the mechatronics instructor at Mid-South Community College. Uh, <clears throat> mid, uh, mechatronics is the term that encompasses all of industrial maintenance. If you look around, everything that you uh, touch every day, where uh, the vehicles you drive in, everything that you touch every day is manufactured in a factory of some sort. Uh, a lot of the food that you eat is processed in factories. <clears throat> And someone has got to maintain the equipment that does all that. All these machines out there making all this stuff, eventually some of them are going to break down. Industrial maintenance is where, is where all that, uh, that takes place. Uh, there are several different disciplines in industrial maintenance, not just electrical or mechanical, but also fluid power, which is hydraulics and pneumatics, uh, automation, robotics, uh, all sorts of different uh, applications. But any type of machinery, we teach you in the mechatronics program how to uh, design, install, and maintain that equipment. <clears throat> the uh, program is a two-year program uh, overall. Uh, you can actually do the first half of it in high school through the academies program. Uh, so it's 60 hours total. You'll do 30 of it while you're in high school. The uh, <clears throat> Job market is wide open right now. Uh, I get calls every day from recruiters from different factories locally and internet and uh, nationally, uh, looking for packaging and mechatronics uh, technicians. The uh, job market, like I said, is wide open. There's tons of jobs out there, uh, making anywhere from fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a year, depending on where you want it to go and what you're wanting to do. Uh, <clears throat> The, uh, it's like I said, it's a two-year program, and it can uh, articulate into an engineering degree, uh, a four-year engineering degree, if you so desire to, to pursue that. Uh, the uh, some of the skills necessary are critical thinking skills for sure. You got to be able to analyze a problem <clears throat> and come up with a solution, uh, not just a solution. To solve the immediate problem, but also to find the root cause uh, of the problem and make sure that it doesn't come back. You don't want to have a problem occur. The uh, <clears throat> good math skills are uh, key. There is uh, some math involved uh, when you start figuring gear ratios and load capacities and uh, things of that nature. Uh, and communication is very, very critical being able to communicate with uh, the other mechanics uh, in the department as well as production and supervision. And that's about it. So this program, can they start it in the 10th grade? Yes. And is it a uh, full three years out that yes. they go? It's full uh, three years. It, uh, they'll actually acquire 30 hours of the uh, degree. Wow. So would they come out, in that case, if they continue to go at AS, uh, ASU Mid-South, mm -hmm. would they then continue as a uh, sophomore? Yes. Yeah, they yeah, they'd come in, they'd be ready to take the uh, last two semesters and uh, and get their, get their uh, two-year degree in a year. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, and in this field, um, Starting salary that a person could expect. Starting salary, no experience. Uh, generally, you're going to be 16 to 20 dollars an hour uh, to start, and uh, I've seen uh, top out salaries as high as 38, 39 dollars an hour. No experience. Well, very little experience. Two years, three years in the field, and in the in a degree. Okay. okay. Uh, I've got a recruiter that called me two days ago. From Florida, looking for looking for uh, mechanics because okay. they're they're that desperate nationwide. They're looking everywhere. Okay, so uh, individual who's working in this field, would they consider themselves? Is this like this is not an auto mechanic, right? It's not Maybe. that kind of mechanic. No, no, it's not. It's 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 all kinds of different machinery. It's there's really not a specific type of machinery okay. you're going to work on. It's a broad range. It's uh, and that's what we teach all the basic, uh, <clears throat> all the basic uh, 
theories and applications of all this different equipment and then because every every piece of machinery is unique okay. uh, to an extent it's all made up of the same parts so you know how all the parts work and how they function together and then you can do whatever you need to do with the machine mm -hmm. but no it's not an auto mechanic it's actually works on the, the machines that make the cars mm -hmm. is what we're talking about okay. and then make your clothes and then process your food and make these desks and chairs the machines that actually do that so a person goes through 10th grade, starts the program, mm -hmm. at the end of that uh, 12th grade year they have 30 hours. Yes. Do they have to go for another year before they can get a job or they, can they get a job they'll, then? They'll, be able to get, they'll have enough to find them already education wise to go straight into work. Uh, they'll have uh, <clears throat> a good foundation in mechanical, electrical and some automation skills mm -hmm. uh, whenever they graduate high school with just the, just the stuff they'll get in high school. and then the polishing is what you're going to get the last two years you're going to get the higher higher end automation stuff uh, and uh, some higher end mechanical laser alignment things like that <clears throat> that you'll get in the uh, in the, the higher uh, uh, courses gpa requirements for this it's 2.5 is what it takes to get in the program overall and other than that it's it's just the basic for whatever they, they're asking for to get in the uh, uh in the tech program and they uh, they don't have to pay for any of this. If they no. start in 10th grade, they don't have to pay no, for any of their no, 30 hours. No course fees, no book fees, no tuition. Uh, they figured mine up and mine's about $2,800 a semester and they'll get that for free. <clears throat> or $2,800 a year and we get that for free. Mm. So over the course of three years, you're looking at $9,000 okay. and it saves them. <clears throat> um, other than that, if you if you don't have anything else that you like to stress to them or anything like that, then no, I'd uh, like to suggest uh, employers are looking for people with good work ethics, so that you can show up on time, show up regularly, and and work and work hard. You know, uh, that's the that's the biggest thing is, uh, is is good work ethics, good critical thinking skills, being able to try and, and uh, uh, identify a problem and, and and not just look at the symptoms, but look at the cause and go all the way back to to fix it to where it doesn't happen again. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, no for problem. your time. No